Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to cover everything about AI agents. There is a lot of misinformation on internet about AI agents that it's only for those people who have coding or the programming background. People with non-tech, non-coding background cannot build AI agents, but that is not true. So I wish somebody had explained me AI agents when I started in a very, very simple manner. So in this video, I'll try to explain in the very, very basic format. I'll cover what is an AI agent, why are they needed, how you can build AI agent using both code as well as non-coding platform. What are the major components? How you can utilize AI agents in your job, in your business, or even if you want to make money as a freelancer by building AI agents. So stay with me until end of this video and you will learn everything about AI agents to get started. So before we jump into what are AI agents and what are the components, let's learn why AI agents are needed. So in today's situation, or until now, most of the work was done by humans. And as a human, we all have memory, we have brain, and we need some kind of instruction. So when we hire someone, we provide instructions, right? That, hey, do this type of work. These are the ways to complete this process or this particular task. And then we provide certain number of tools to a human, like we provide a laptop, and laptop we provide access to Gmail, Slack, Calendar, many other tools, okay? So when a human has all of these items, they perform a particular job or they perform a task, like they do sales work, marketing, operations, or any other kind of process related to a business or a job. But there are some problems with humans. Humans have limited working hours. Most of us work eight to nine hours, eight to five, nine to six. And at the same time, humans have productivity issues. Not every human is equally productive. That means someone can generate X amount of output, say in eight hours, but someone else would be able to generate X by two right like 50 percent less output so a lot of people techies thought about it that how can we overcome these limitations so that we can get the work done 24 7 and at and with much faster efficiency and that's when they built the ai agents this is how an ai agent look like now an ai agent has everything that a human has for example we have provided a memory to an ai agent we have provided a brain to an ai agent okay just like humans. So what is a brain for an AI agent? It can be any large language model. For example, ChatGPT from OpenAI, Google Gemini, Claude from Anthropic. So any large language model act as a brain for AI agent. And as we provide instructions to a human being that, hey, perform this particular task, these are the steps to perform a particular task. That's how we provide instructions to an AI agent. How we provide those instructions? We provide it through prompting. You may have heard about this word called prompt engineering. That's a very, very important work. People confuse or misinterpret prompting as, okay, it's just a simple command that we give in English language. Yes, that is true. But giving that command in the right format with proper details is extremely important for your AI agent to work in a proper manner. Just think it in a manner that if you hire someone or when you get into a new job, you need very detailed instructions on when to come, what tasks to perform, what are the steps to per complete a particular task. Similarly, if you are creating an AI agent and if you do not give the right instructions, it won't work properly or it won't give you the desired output. That's where prompting is important. And finally, we also provide tools to an AI agent because to perform a particular task, an AI agent would, will need tools like Gmail, Word, Excel, Slack, or many other tools, okay? So if you compare this with a human, a human has these four main items and we have provided exactly the same four items to an AI agent to make it equivalent or better to, than a human. Now, what are the benefits of an AI agent? So AI agents can work 24 seven. They do not have demands like humans. They have 10 X more productivity. So work that can be done by a human is sending email to 50 people. A human may take one hour in doing in sending those 50 emails, but an AI agent can send them in just five minutes or literally in five seconds even. And there are no emotions. So AI agents do not ask for holidays. They don't have complaints and they just do work for you 24 seven. That's why AI agents are in extremely, extremely high demand. Every company, whether it's a small company or a big company, they want to replace humans with AI agents so that they can get more work done at a higher efficiency or productivity. That's why you need to learn what are AI agents so that you can do better in your job. If you are a working professional, if you own a business, you can literally automate most of your work, save cost by replacing human and implementing AI agents. And if you are someone who's trying to build a business or if you're a freelancer, you can build AI agents 
or consult businesses on how to build AI agents or how, what AI agents they need to implement and you can make a very, very good income as a freelancer. So it has benefits at every single place. Now we have learned about, okay, what AI agents are built off. Now what they can do today, okay? You need to understand, okay, what are the capabilities of AI agents because then you will be able to build the right AI agent. So these are just some of the examples. They can do infinite amount of work, but hopefully these examples will give you a good idea. First of all, AI agent can become a personal assistant. They can manage your entire email. They can manage your entire calendar. AI agents can automate your end-to-end -end marketing. If you want to post on LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, they can create content both in form of text, video or image and they can also post that content, they can monitor that content. For sales roles, AI agents can do lead identification, lead outreach, they can do lead follow-up, they can nurture those leads. So anything that a salesperson would do, they can automate that entire work and do that seamlessly for you. Another one is customer support. So you can build AI agents who can answer your customer calls. They can respond on chat to your customer queries and manage all your emails where your customer asks any questions. And finally, any tasks related to recruitment. So hiring candidates for you, taking interviews, giving shortlisting like top five resumes out of 100 resumes, identifying which LinkedIn profiles are matching exactly to your requirements. So they can do a lot of work related to recruitment. So if you see, AI agents can handle almost every single part of a business. So let's learn about how AI agents work, okay? Uh, literally about their architecture. So if you see, this is an AI agent and suppose you are a user, you are sitting over here and you have sent a query to an AI agent. Query is nothing but a question. So for example, you say draft an email for me and send it to Aditya. Okay. So as a user, you sent a query to an AI agent. When an AI agent receives a query, it sends that query to a large language model, which is like a chat GPT or uh, Claude or Google Gemini. And based on this query, large language model generates some kind of response. At the same time, the, your query also gets stored in the AI agent's memory so that if you ask a follow-up question, AI agent will remember, okay, what was your previous question? And once it gets the output from large language model, suppose now AI agent has got an email drafted for you according to your question. Now AI agent has that email drafted for you. This AI agent will send that email to tools like Gmail or Outlook or Zoho and this tool will actually perform that task like sending that email to Aditya, okay? So you sent a query to an AI agent that, hey, send an email to Aditya. AI agent utilized large language model to draft the email and then AI agent utilized tools like Gmail or Outlook to send that email to Aditya. And during this entire process, all this information of generating email content, sending that email to Aditya, everything is getting stored in the memory. And once this task is completed, AI agents send that information back to the user. And so it informs you that, hey, I've drafted this email for you and I've sent it to Aditya. Cool. So this is how an AI agent work. It exactly works like a human, but at a much more faster speed with no emotions and no excuses. Now, there is a lot of confusion between what are AI agents and what are large language models or generative AI. So let me clarify that confusion. Okay, so large language model like ChatGPT. Okay, so if you go on ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to draft an email that you can send to your thousand customers, large language model or ChatGPT will draft that email, but it won't be able to send that email on your behalf to your thousand customers. But if you go to an AI agent and say that, hey, draft an email for me and send that email to thousand customers, AI agent will do that. It will utilize large language model to draft that email and then it will utilize tool to send out that email to your thousand customer. So AI agent has power to take action on your behalf, which large language models like ChatGPT, Google Gemini, Claude cannot do. Now let's talk about AI agent frameworks. Okay, so you'll hear this term a lot that this is a new AI agent framework. I used to get confused a lot with this framework term. So let me tell you about AI agent framework. An AI agent framework is just a way to create an AI agent, okay, with some predefined component. So if you come from a programming or a data science background, there are a lot of platforms that helps you build AI agent use, utilizing programming. Mostly it is in Python or JavaScript. So there are platforms like Langchain, which is one of the most famous platform in which you can go 
and build your AI agent utilizing Python. Similarly, there are platforms like Crew AI, Autogen, this is from Microsoft, Llama Index, and Haystack. These are five most famous frameworks, or you can say these are five most famous platforms that utilize coding or programming to build AI agents. If you do not come from a programming back background and if you want to build an AI agent, do not worry. There are many platforms that utilizes no code approach. You won't need to write even a single line of code and you will be able to build an AI agent. Okay, so there are platforms like N810, Zapier, with Langchain has provided a new platform called Langsmith, Flowwise, Make. These are five most famous platform that utilizes no code approach to build AI agent. You do not need to know even a single line of programming and you will be able to create very, very powerful AI agents. Now, out of all these platform, my favorite one is NATN and this is one of the most prominent one in the market right now. They have raised millions in fundings and they are being implemented by a lot of companies. So if you come from a non-tech, non-coding background, and you want to start building AI agents either for yourself or for businesses or as a freelancer, I would highly, highly recommend this platform. Okay, let's talk about what are the different type of AI agents. So there are three main types of AI agents available right now. Okay, I mean, if you go to different platforms, you will be able to see, okay, eight types of AI agents or 12 type of AI agents. But I think uh, that's just a way to show that, okay, there are many types of AI agents available, but more or less all those AI agents fall into these three categories. First is single agent AI system. Second is multi-agent AI system. And third one is RAG agent. Okay, what is RAG? It's called Retrieval Augmented Generation. I'll give you an example of all these three AI agents. Again, I'm not going to jump into details of it on how you can build. That I'll cover in the future videos, but let me show you an example so that you can visualize, okay, what is a single agent, multi-agent and a RAG AI agent. So this is an example of single agent AI system. If you look into this AI agent, there is only one AI agent which has brain, which has memory, and which has access to multiple tools. So basically this AI agent is managing everything in your Gmail. If you want to read your emails, if you want to reply to any email, delete any particular email, send an email to someone, you can literally do that with your voice or by just typing a command over here and it will do it on your behalf. Okay, it has very, very powerful capabilities. In my future videos, I'm going to cover how to build a single agent AI system to manage your entire email. So this is an example of a single agent AI system. Just focus that there is only one AI AI agent over here okay now this is an example of a multi-agent AI system now it may look really really complex to you you don't have to worry much about it so let me just zoom into this particular section if you see there is one AI agent over here and then there are two sub agents one agent is managing your email and another agent is managing your calendar okay so there are more than one agent there are two sub agents and there is, there is one boss agent right who's supervising these two sub agents so this is called a multi-agent AI system. And this is just an example where you have two sub-agents. There are examples in which you can have 10 to 15 sub-agents and then there is one boss or the leader AI agent who manages all sub-agents. Again, in future videos, we are going to learn everything about all these single agent, multi-agent AI system and how you can build it. And it is not that difficult. Uh, it might look a little bit complex, but it's not that difficult. Let's talk about RAG agents now. Okay. Now, this is an example of RAG AI agent. So what RAG AI agent does is, so in addition to taking information or utilizing large language model like ChatGPT as its brain, it also utilize information coming from a knowledge source. So for example, if you have 10 documents related to Q&A related to your customers, you can feed those 10 documents to your RAG agents through this Pinecone vector database. Again, you don't have to worry about, okay, what is Pinecone and all this, but just think that you can create a knowledge base and your AI agent will utilize the brain through large language model like ChatGPT and it will also utilize that knowledge base to give you answer. That is a RAG based AI agent. Okay, so we are also going to learn it and using RAG based AI agent, you can create chatbot on your website, you can create a support on your website or on your email for your customers. And there are a lot of things that you can do using RAG agents. So I hope you have understood until now that why 
AI agents are important and why you need to learn building AI agents in 2025. And again, if you're a business owner, you can almost automate every single thing in your business. You are using AI agent. You can reduce your operational cost. You can make a lot of savings and you can replace humans with AI agents and get your work done at a very, very faster pace. If you're a working professional in your job, you can automate a lot of your tasks, save time, show benefit to your employer, save money for them, get promotion, get growth in your career. If you're looking to build a business as a freelancer, you can build AI agents, deliver it to different small, medium sized businesses. They all need it. Not everybody has experience in building AI agents. That's a huge market right now. It's a literally golden age. If you want to start with a non-tech background and get into tech companies or tech businesses by building AI agents. Great. Time. One more way in which you can utilize AI agents is to build your own business. Suppose you don't have any business, but you have a business idea right now. You can literally build an entire business utilizing AI agents with absolutely zero code. Some of the examples are you can create a website where you can create personalized storybooks for kids. So people can come on your website, they can upload their kids picture along with themselves and your platform will generate a personalized storybook of say 10 to 15 images for them and you can sell that storybook to them. There are a lot of websites if you go on Google they have already built this business and they're making millions. You can simply build this business by using combining Nano Banana with Stripe with N10 as a backend to build your AI agent and Lovable to create your website. None of them require coding background. In some of the future videos, I'll create this end-to-end -end tutorial on how you can create a business within 24 hours without using any coding. Another example could be pre-wedding photo shoot. A lot of people who got married, say 10 years, 15 years ago, there was no concept of pre-wedding photo shoot then, but they need pictures of pre-wedding photo shoot style. You can create a website for that. The couple can upload its picture and your platform will generate their pre-wedding style photo shoot. Another one could be you can create a sales research AI agents. And similarly, there can be hundreds of examples that you can create using AI agents. You can build a business run entirely by yourself with zero investment. And I'm going to create a lot of videos with real examples on how you can create an end-to-end -end business within 24 hours. So I hope guys, this video has given you good information about AI agents. You have learned something basic about AI agents, where you can utilize it for your business, for your job, and as a freelancer. Follow my future videos. I'm going to cover everything about AI agents in very, very simple explanatory videos. Don't forget to like this video. Let me know in comments what other information you need about AI agents. If you have any question, feel free to drop in comments and I'll certainly get back to you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.